All right, so I've turned on the inverter. I have a fan plugged into it, but not running yet. And as you can see, uh, just with that alone, it's drawing between four and six. Uh, I've seen it hit a seven there for a second watts in the lower right-hand corner. And it's going between 0.4 and 0.5 amps. And it says I have almost 100 hours, 99 uh, hours and 59 minutes left at the current load so now if we turn the fan on okay so as you can see we're up at 78 watts um, 5.83 amps right now it's on a low setting so now we're down to approximately 43 hours 40 hours so it's probably going to take some time to adjust and i will come back and see if this is draining more than we're currently charging here in a few minutes all right so Okay, I just kicked it to this middle one. We're up to 85 watts. And if I put it on high, we're currently drawing 98 watts. 7.31 amps. With plenty of time, like I said, 28 hours. And we'll have to take a look at it and once again see if we're uh, drawing more than we're actually collecting from the sun right now you can see that I've put a strain on the battery it's down to 13.3 volts so let me let this run for about 10 minutes and then we'll check it in 10 minutes all right so approximately a little over 15 minutes has gone by closer to 20 and as you can see, just a couple minutes ago, we actually dropped to 99% of a charge, uh, 197 amp hours left. Uh, it dropped off fairly quickly down to 12.7 volts and has been sitting there ever since. Um, the amps have been slightly fluctuating and we're down to a 91 watt draw with 27 hours and 24 minutes remaining once again that is with the solar panels hooked up um, I will do some more in-depth uh, checking of this to see how long it's going to last and, uh, and we'll have some more videos letting you know exactly how good this stuff really is once again thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video